hello everyone here in this uh, video we would like to discuss the combined motion of a body when it is on a inclined plane in the previous post we have discussed how it is if the body is having a combined motion that is both translator and rotatory motion on a horizontal surface now i want to discuss about when the body is on a inclined surface let the angle of inclination is theta let the height of inclination is h length of inclination equal to l generally in a real time problem these three parameters may not be given only any two of them will be given let us assume a body like a ring or a disk which is on the top of the inclined plane whose mass is equal to m radius r r radius is r and it's initially in the state of rest let it is starting sliding down thus it has both translatory motion and rotatory motion and by the time it reaches the bottom it will acquire some velocity and we are interested in calculating what is that velocity is we can say the total energy of the body by the time it has reached the bottom is sum of translatory kinetic energy as well as rotational kinetic energy but at the beginning body is being on the top of the inclined plane all this total energy is in the format of potential energy with reference to the base it is at a height h therefore the total energy is mgh equal to half mv square and we can further write moment of inertia as mk square where k is the radius of gyration and as v equal to r omega omega could be written like v by r and omega square equal to v square by r square so we can write the total energy as half mv square of 1 plus k square by r square is equal to mgh now we can cancel these ms and we can further simplify that 2gh equal to v square by 1 plus k square by r square therefore v square equal to 2gh by 1 plus k square by r square that implies velocity of the body on reaching the bottom of the inclined plane is under the square root 2gh 1 plus k square by r square this is the velocity with which the body is going to reach the bottom of the inclined plane and it is very clear that what is the velocity of the body is independent of the mass of the body but it depends on the size and shape of the body because it is depending on the radius of gyration and of course the radius of the body itself now we are interested in calculating what is the acceleration acquired by the body by the time it has reached the bottom we want to calculate the acceleration acquired by the body we simply want to use equation of motion v square minus u square equal to 2as here v is nothing but the velocity by the time it has reached the bottom that we have just now calculated therefore v square will be 2gh by 1 plus k square by r square as it is starting from the rest its initial velocity equal to 0 acceleration we are interested to calculate s is nothing but the length of the inclined plane through which it is starting therefore we can cancel this uh, uh, 2 and 2 of course anyway 2gh could be written like 1 plus k square by r square equal to 2gl but when you look at the diagram we can write uh, sin theta as something like h by l therefore we can write h as something like l sin theta or we can write uh, l as h by g sin theta so we can rewrite if suppose assuming that the length of the inclined plane is given in the place of l i can write uh, h by sin theta to 
root 2 g we can write h as l sin theta we can write h as l sin theta and the denominator we can write One plus k square by r square equal to two g l. Now we can cancel uh, l and l. Therefore, we can find an answer. Of course, in the place of uh, acceleration, we have to write acceleration itself. So we'll be getting a equation for the acceleration as if you simplify further, two g sine theta by 1 plus k square by r square equal to 2a. Therefore, we can cancel this 2 and 2. Therefore, we got an equation for the acceleration of a body sliding down on the inclined plane as a equal to g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square. That is the equation for the acceleration of a body on a inclined plane when we are considering both translatory and rotatory motion and we have also derived equations for the velocity of the body. Using these values even we can calculate the equation for the time taken for the body to come down on the inclined plane. We can simply use an equation to find the time using a formula equation of motion actually ut plus half a t square. S is nothing but the length of the inclined plane upon which the body is coming down starting from the state of rest therefore ut equal to 0 half in the place of acceleration I can write just derived formula g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square and t square therefore we can write the equation for the time as t square as 2L of 1 plus k square by r square by g sin theta. Therefore, the time taken to reach the bottom is square root of that 2L by g sin theta of 1 plus k square by r square whole power of half. Like this, we can identify the time taken by the body to come down the bottom of the inclined plane using this equation we can also find acceleration we can also find the velocity of the body on reaching the bottom of the inclined plane thank you